Hello everyone, welcome to What's In Your Bag. And I am Melissa New with my co-host, Mr. Chase Reynolds of okay. LensRentals.com. How, How are, are you? Doing good. How are Fabulous. You? Good to have you back. Thank you. And to my right is one of my faves. We're just going to put that out there, Mr. Joel Grimes. Thank you. How are you? Good. I'm good. sick of this like yearly thing where we only hang out once a year. I'm up for increasing that. Okay. Well, I'll talk to your wife. Yeah, well, Maybe I know. She'll, she'll We're not that far away now. I know. So That's awesome. Chase is. He's mm -hmm. in Nashville. Yeah, he's out there. Vegas like six times a year. So. That's true. That's true. Well, he's with all the hipsters in Nashville. So let's talk geek talk today. Okay. You guys ready for this? Yep, it is. We're talking about gear. We've talked a lot about cameras and lenses, but you've kind of, you're, you're looking at your phone right now. You're looking at something that's a little bit different, right? Well, I was trying to solve a problem a few years, a few years ago when I got my 17 tilt chip, but I love doing long exposures. Yeah. So um, to do like sky clouds that move or water, yeah. um, I would do it with all my other lenses, but I couldn't do, uh, there was no solution for the 17 tilt chip. Huh. And it's got this big bubble, you know, the glass in the front, yeah. so that you can't just put a filter on. You can't screw it on. It would damage it. Well, you can't even do it. But anyways, so there were some homemade products out there, people mm -hmm. on the internet. I was like, oh, okay, I, I, I got to solve this problem. And finally, I found this product that is like perfect. It's not cheap, but it's perfect, and it's made by Wonder Panna. Uh, and the kit is it's like a 145 essential kit, whatever is what I originally bought. And so that mounts right on your, where you normally have your little cap that goes over the, the, on the lens. Yeah. It mounts right on there. So it's this big old, it looks like a big lens hood. Really? Then you take and you buy also the 10 stop or six stop neutral density mm -hmm. and you screw it on the front of it and it protects obviously the, the lens, mm -hmm. but, and it covers the front. And so then I can ship left and right and still so So I'll do my panos where I'll ship left, do my sequence mm -hmm. of whether it's HDR or whatever, if it's yeah. long exposure, then I shift it right. Then I put those two pieces together and get like a 36 megapixel capture. Wow. Really wide pano. Huh. I mean, and really it's a lens that almost you can't get any way else. I mean, it's it's like it doesn't exist on the planet. Mm -hmm. So I love that really wide. So uh, this morning I showed a lot of my pictures from Iceland and it was with that super wide look. Get the clouds. It's just going oh, crazy. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. so now I have a solution to put a 10 stop or a 6 stop on my 17 tilt chip. So when I go out and do backgrounds, you look at my composites yeah. and you look at the backgrounds, about 90% of all those backgrounds you see are shot with my 17 tilt chip. Cool. So cool. now that I have that tool to use as a solution for long exposures, yeah. it's like I'm, I'm pretty stoked. Yeah. So, so, so you're an even and, better photographer? Okay. Well, I, yeah, I mean, it just extends your tools, I guess. Sure. But I was going to say, the company, yeah, down, <laughs> the company is Photodiox. Okay. That makes it, so people want to look it up. And the, and the, the actual hood's about 200 and it says 63 bucks or 62 bucks. That's not cheap. Mm -hmm. But, and the filter, I think, is another 180 or something. Oh, wow. But when you, if you think about, if you're going to, it's going to solve a solution for you, like, Absolutely. and I use it a lot then it's worth it. It's worth it. Yeah. Is that something that you guys do a lot with rentals? Do you guys do filters and oh, yeah. do you have do you have this? Um, we have a similar product to it. Um, okay. Basically what he's getting at is there's, he's been using neutral densities for a while to get the dramatic effect, get the long exposure, and he's been using a 17 millimeter to get um, to do his stitching and stuff. You, know, you can do perspective correction with it, sure. you can do um, you know, panos in camera that are like just seamless, really? they do a great job. Yes. Now he has the ability to combine the two. And that's something that's fairly new. And you, he basically, before you were kind of just choosing between the two, whatever option you wanted. So for this cool. particular case, how do you find that bike? Actually? You know what? I just finally, I just typed it in. And every once in a while, someone will introduce a new product. Mm -hmm. And I kept waiting, right? And I don't know if there's another product out there. I just hadn't seen it. So I don't know what you said you have, maybe a solution you have. We, um, I've just used uh, map boxes with like four by four filters, but they don't work fully. So this is a much better uh, solution. This will allow me to shift in any direction and right. still cover no, without, you get a little vignette because of just the fact that it's 10 stop sure. neutral density. You can get a little, but I fix that in Photoshop, right? And, and um, I don't use Lightroom, but I use Bridge, and I just do a, the opposite of vignetting. Yeah, yeah. And you just clean it right up. Cool. Done and done. Okay. You're constantly evolving and you're constantly pushing yourself. Yeah, yeah. you're pushing yourself. Do you know what I say? I have a passion for the creative process, okay? Mm -hmm. So, in the end, what that does is that gets you out off the couch 
get you up early long enough too early. But it does get you to battle the elements of you know being out in the yeah. field or whatever it is yeah. that, that all the stuff I have to deal with as mm -hmm. photographers. Because I have a passion for the creative process. Cool. That's what drives me. I so, love it. So you can find me, answer your question, Joel, <laughs> Back Grimes, to the Joel Grimes You can find Joel Grimes. That's my main, my, uh, my main website. JoelGrimes.com. Yeah. Okay. And then I have my blog, which is all f sorts of stuff on there, uh, articles I write, mm -hmm. and you know, and that's JoelGrimesWorkshops.com. Perfect. And you're very active in social media, so definitely. No, I am not, but my wife is. <laughs> she it's she Joel. takes it is Joel. care of me, <laughs> and, and uh, she's built a good following on Facebook and other stuff. So She yeah. really has. She does a good job. But you're very accessible on social media. Yes. Find Joel on his website. On Facebook, on Twitter, Instagram. Yes. Instagram. Sort he had of. to check with his wife. I on got that. like five pictures up. That's cool. You're, you're <laughs> getting somewhere. somewhere. Exactly. <laughs> but also, Joel talked a lot about different equipment. Definitely check out Chase and his team at lensrentals.com. Yes. And do it the Joel Grimes way and pick up a camera and push its limits and really mess with it. I really, I really like your philosophy. Thank so you. I'm gonna go home to my boring camera and try to press. You know, push the limits. Good. How about that? I've been inspired by Joel today. Good. <laughs> Good. All right. Thanks, Joel. Thank you.